What they found in these studies is that you need a significantly higher titer or concentration of antibodies to neutralize Omicron compared to Delta or the previous variants. However, what they also found is that it will still neutralize at these higher titers. So the good news here is that there isn't a complete immune escape. This is telling us that there will still be some effect from the antibody portion in all likelihood from the vaccines. But at the same time, we expect there to see, be some decrease based on it requiring this higher concentration. What this really means for us as individuals is we're going to have to wait for the real world data from vaccinated individuals, which will start to give us insights into how the other parts of the immune system play in, but also that getting your vaccine and if you're eligible, your booster remains very important. That's the best way to get your viral antibody titers as high as possible and give you that good chance of being able to have some increased effect against Omicron. Despite all of the concern around Omicron, it remains critical to focus on Delta because that's still what's here and that's still what's filling up our hospitals, particularly in the Midwest. We know that the vaccines are incredibly effective against Delta, and this is the best reason to get vaccinated or boosted right now if you're eligible because Delta is a clear threat in the here and now. Omicron is something that has some concern tetanus is something that we've never seriously considered eradicating because it's in the soil everywhere. But at the same time, through effective vaccination and effective management of post-exposure, it's gone from being a potentially deadly disease to something that's manageable with uh, where we are more concerned about getting to that vaccine on time and uh, what that feels like than what the effects of tetanus are. For me, that would be the ideal state of COVID is one where we use the vaccines and careful management to make it into more of a nuisance uh, with careful management than a true threat like it is in this pandemic. I think the most important things to keep in mind about staying safe right now are one, we're still in a Delta surge. And as we look at what can we do to stay safe from Delta, it's the same things they have then, which is to say masking where appropriate, getting tested if you have symptoms or another reason, and getting vaccinated or boosted if eligible. As we look ahead, the companies that make the vaccines have looked into making uh, specific boosters for this. And we are going to have to see what kind of developments come out from the real world data on efficacy in the near future, as well as what, the, uh, what this looks like overall. And it will be important to remember if there is a new booster in the spring for this, that that's something that's always been considered a possibility. However, that doesn't mean you shouldn't get a booster now. The boosters now still improve your risk profile better than anything. And just getting a booster now doesn't mean that there won't ever be another booster. Just like the flu, we have to get a shot every year as new strains come around.